you know, the right graph is really what is right, you know, I guess underlying it for the data, but really what is right for the audience? Like you just said, what do you want them to do with it, right? Do you want them to make this comparison between the different categories or do you want to emphasize, I guess, maybe a change over time? And so I would also add into that mix, you know, the platform that you're using, and obviously we just talked about audience, so obviously audience, but I would add platform to that. I think that is an, especially in our current modern era, right? Like, you know, 20 years ago, PDF reports, static graphs, that was it. That's all you did. Now you have to decide, is it going to be a static graph? Is it going to be interactive? Is it going to be animated? Is it a dashboard? Like there's a lot of things to consider. And those are, those are serious considerations. I mean, you know, you might find... You go to the the Guardian website or the New York Times or the Washington Post, and you find, or you know, pick your pick your pick your website, and you find these great interactive visualizations. Maybe they're animated. Lots of things happen. They move around. You know, if you are, well, I'll just speak to the U.S. experience. There are more for there are more than forty million people in the United States who do not have broadband access, right? So, like that great interactive animated visualization you're not gonna be able to read it on your phone. You just don't have the bandwidth, right? So just like in a simple thing like that. So, and, and back to the congressional example, like they like pieces of paper. So, you know, creating that cool app, you know, might not work for that audience. So, you know, the right graph for the right data, I think when you boil it down is really kind of more about the graph the, the, the best graph that helps you convey your message for your target audience. Mm -hmm.